Welcome back to the Spirited Shop. I am the Spirited Maker, and today we're going to create something a little unique. I've drawn up the plans here. Can you guess what it is? It's going to be a toilet paper holder. It'll hang on the wall, and you'll have a roll of toilet paper on each one. The whole 12. So we're going to make uh, this to hold the toilet paper using dowels and I'm going to cut circles out with a circle cutter for this part so just a fun little project let's give it a go I've got the compound sliding miter saw set with a stop block at four and a half inches most toilet paper rolls are four inches so we'll see how many I need 12 of them so here we go. enough of that now I got to cut out circles to go on the ends okay. guess it's as far as it'll go I'm over here set up at the mill with a circle cutter so we're going to use this cut out 12 circles from the scrap It came out all right. I'm gonna have to sand it. I'm gonna do that anyway, so this will work. 11 more to go. Next comes sanding. I'm gonna sand each one of these. And uh, do that to each one then we'll move on to the next step okay I have all 12 of them sanded and they're all gonna be painted too so right. I'm gonna tell you these are cut out of cedar and it smells so good got cedar dust everywhere but next step I need to come up with a big piece of plywood or something for the base that is all going to screw into. So let me rummage through my stack of wood and see what I can come up with. I found this old piece of plywood I'm going to cut it out of. I've laid it out on here and a little change of plan because it's getting too big. I'm gonna change it to hold nine rolls instead of 12. So, still enough. So I've, I've marked it out and marked where I need to put the toilet paper holder. So, I'm gonna cut this out probably with a jigsaw. And we'll move on from there. Okay, I'm going to cut it out using this jigsaw. Got a rough blade on it. Don't want it to take forever.
So we have all the parts. I'm gonna drill some holes for the screws to go through. And really, it'll be pretty close to done, other than finishing it. pilot holes. So I am going to take the screws one at a time. Make 12 of these. I'll make one more real fast and then I'll do the rest off screen as to not bore you to death. Simply what it is, and the toilet paper roll will go on. And because it has a lip, it'll keep it from just sliding off. So I got a lot more of these to make. I'll bring you back when I'm done. And I'm back. I'm done. You see it? Yeah. We'll hold nine rolls and hang on the wall above the toilet <laughs> for easy access. Next thing I got to do is paint it. And yes, I did sand the sides down. I know I didn't show it, but I sanded the sides and beveled it. So painting is next and then it'll be pretty much done. It will be done. Time to paint.
Okay, I've got a second coat on here. Here's what it's looking like so far. Now, I'm not gonna leave it plain white though. So, we're gonna American it up, American it up with some red and blue. We already have the white, so. Let's see how it turns out when I'm done. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna paint top part blue and then red stripes down it. Yep, gotta have stars too, so. Let's see how it turns out. I'm going to put on a couple of red stripes and this thing, this puppy will be done. So I'll probably speed this part up too, but you get the idea. finish this up and then I'll bring you back when it's done time to pull the tape off of this let's see how it looks Too shabby. What do you guys think? Let me see. Can't really hold it up much. So, last thing I'm gonna do, paint some stars and call it finished. And there you have it, a completed project. I may have to touch up the paint here and there, but that's what it looks like. And in fact, we're gonna put something on it. Hey, that's the whole purpose of it. To sit in the bathroom and hold toilet paper. I know it's a silly little project, but I had fun making it. I hope you did too. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and thank you for watching. 
As always, God bless, and I'll see you next time.